We are getting more details on the challenges physically and also legally for 40-year-old Daniel Luna. He is the 49ers fan left bleeding and disabled in a SoFi parking lot before the NFC Championship game. The attorney for Luna and his family challenges the self-defense claim of the suspect arrested for throwing that punch. Fox 11 Susan Harasuna reports. Inglewood's mayor has his account based on security video. The individual in the white jersey pushes the individual in the yellow jersey. The individual in the yellow jersey has his own account. The suspect, Brian Cifuentes Rousseau, claims self-defense. But the one person whose account is unknown is the 40-year-old victim, Daniel Luna. Easy to say things about, uh, about a situation, and when the person who you're talking about can't respond, it, it's, it's a little bit unfair. Attorney Jonathan Davis has yet to see the security video and believes there's much more available that could help flesh out the moments before and after the exchange between the suspect and Luna. What were the conditions leading up to the incident in terms of what this individual was doing? What, where was he? What was, uh, you know, what was the conduct? We don't have all the facts. What we have is some characterizations and conclusions based on a snapshot. Thursday, Luna endured a major surgery, his wife and parents at Harbor UCLA with him. As many questions as Davis has for his client, he also has questions for SoFi Stadium. There's a lot going on before the game, too, in these parking lots. And that's really a question about how that's being managed, how that's being controlled and supervised. The conditions, that's what we want to know. What were the conditions that gave rise to this? That was Susan Harrisuna reporting. She says Davis is eager to see the video Mayor Butts was privy to. He wants to see the security video that could help get to the truth of what happened to Daniel Luna. The attorney says Luna remains in critical condition.